I'm Nick Harcourt, your host for Morning Becomes Eclectic. We've been playing the music of Jonathan Bates on and off over the last year or so, I guess. Jonathan is also known as Melodrone and joins us in the studio this morning. Welcome. Hi. Good to have you here. I think I'm going to just throw it straight to you. We'll come back and we'll chat in just a short while, but right now it's Melodrone on Morning Becomes Eclectic. <laughs>
my band.
This morning becomes Eclectic at 89.9 KCIW. A set of music from Melodrome this morning, the last song, uh, the full band. Before that, just Jonathan Solo. As I said at the beginning of the set, welcome, Jonathan, to the show. Thank you very much. Uh, let's catch up just a little bit. I don't want to spend too much time because we're running out of uh, time here, and I know you've got another set planned, but just gets, uh, let's just catch up a little bit with you. Now, I know that the EP that we've been playing here for the last six months or so, I think uh, it's the third EP that you put out. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Wait, is there any way to... I'm getting delay in my voice. It's freaking me out. Okay, I can totally understand and relate to that. Um, yeah, it's it was the first official one. Every all the other ones I put out, in the sense that I just gave them out to people in the street, and I would save up money and print them up myself, and then I'd have to give them away, kind of thing. Now, now you're originally from Florida, right? Uh, I grew up in Florida. Yeah. Right. Uh, went to school. I know up in um, in uh, at Berkeley. Yeah. Uh, and then moved out to L.A., what, about three, four years ago, something like that? I'd say about three, yeah. Yeah, so, well, tell us a little bit about that, because I know, obviously, you're, you're at music school, and, and I believe you were a little bit frustrated with what was uh, go, oh, going on there. Um, th th yeah, this is not knocking Berkeley at all. Oh, I mean, sure. It was uh, more me being naive and thinking that, you know, art school can teach you art, and it can't. It can only teach you what's been done before, and I wasn't necessarily looking for that. Uh, so... It taught me what not to be, which is probably more important. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good start. Yeah. What What did you want to do? What did you set out to do? Um. Honestly, was I just wanted to do drugs, and uh, and after the money ran out, <laughs> I just started making music, and I'm just trying to be as honest as possible. No, that's fine. And uh, well, that you know, you go to school, you yeah, do that. I go to school, and a couple semesters before graduating. Uh. A friend of mine was like, why don't you come out to L.A.? And I came out here and decided just to stay and sold everything. But were you already, you know, recording your own stuff and doing demos and uh, multi-tracking stuff? Yeah, I, you know, and a computer and in my apartment, which is the wonder of today that anybody, like a dork like me, can make a record if they want to. So you came out here, as you said, about three years ago. Uh-huh. Um... Tell us a little bit about what's been going on in that period of time. I mean, obviously, we know you've been uh, making your own music, and then you've got this deal now with um, with Artist Direct, and I know that you're actually finishing up a, a full album as well. You've been playing out live as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I just started. I started playing open mics, and uh, with you know with the delay pedals and stuff like that. And so just you with a with a bunch of yeah, because uh, uh, boxes in L. A. It's very hard to start a band if you don't have money and to, to hire the other musicians. Right, right. right. So uh, I just started playing on my own and. Uh, I think Tony Berg was the the dumbest one to sign me. <laughs> I love you, Tony. I'm just kidding. Tony being the A and R guy. Yeah. Right. He was the only one that was like, all right, sure. And uh, I, yeah, I just started playing around in, in coffee shops, and it was rad because you had all these really important people sitting on the coffee floors. <laughs> so I I had a lot of fun doing that. Tell us about what the, about the album. I mean, obviously you've been working on this a while. I know you're going over to to uh, London. You said to to finish mixing this um, right. next weekend. Yeah. Um, what, what can we expect from the Melodrone album? It's, I'm, I'm really proud of it. It has nothing to do with this EP because I mean the EP was like my first attempt at songwriting, and this is, uh, it's a lot more, uh, not so much programming, and it's more live. I've, you know, I've got, i lucky enough to have a really amazing band, Scott Ellis playing drums, and Greg playing bass, Greg Griffith, and uh, it's, it's, it's just gonna be a lot bigger, I think. Not bigger like. Worldwide, I'm taking over. I mean, bigger sounding kind of thing. When do you expect it to be uh, finished and out? This year, later this year? Uh, yeah, it should be finished in a week. Oh, great. Well, listen, we've got about um, 14, 15 minutes left, so I'm going to throw it back to you. I know you've got another set. Let's uh, let's see how we can go through this set. We'll come back. We'll wrap things up. We'll give away some copies of the EP and some mm -hmm. tickets to a show that you've got tomorrow night as well. Thank you, Nick. All right.
heart gets hurt. Hurt, hurt.